Well, it was the Aussie tennis triumph that no one really saw coming from <laughs> wildcards with no expectations to Grand Slam glory. Nick Kyrgios and Tanasi Kokonakis, the childhood friends now appropriately dubbed Australia's special case. <laughs> of doubles tennis is now the show must go on what a performance from Kokonakis and Kyrgios and look what it means to them still emotional about it aren't you Carl it's one of the great moments Ali <laughs> Um, and I'm delighted to say the pair joins us now. Nick in Sydney and Tanasi in Melbourne. Big round of applause for the legends. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Righto, no. Nick. Um, how's the celebrations been going, my man? Um, incredible. Um, obviously, I haven't really seen Thanasi that much since um, the, the title. You know, we had to do drug testing and all this type of stuff after. So... You know, I heard the big fella's coming to Sydney um, tomorrow, so I'm super Ooh. excited to just catch up with him. Um, we've got a bit of business to do in Sydney, and it's been good, honestly. <laughs> I'm just back home now with the missus in, in Sydney and just enjoying it. I'm um, just happy to be here, Carl. I miss you, man. Oh. Aww. Yeah, but there's no time for me anymore. That you've got, you're with your missus all the time, every day, all night, all the time. <laughs> we, I'll fit some time in for you, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Tanasi, how's it been for you? Yep, it's been good. Uh, I'm not going to lie, no, it was, uh, it was a pretty fun two weeks and uh, a sweet month for me to do it with Nick. Uh, yeah, I couldn't have asked for anything more. It was, uh, it was a pretty loose night on Saturday and, uh, <laughs> yeah, still feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> and was it just Saturday? I was surprised. You sort of took different paths in how you celebrated. Nick, yeah. you came back to Sydney and it was a bit quieter, but Tanasi, you know, we've got, we've got people on the streets in Melbourne who tell us that you, um, you, you partied well, my friend. Uh, if there's ever a time to do so, I believe it was the right time. Uh, Nick did surprise me. He's come with age. His maturity is uh, through the roof now. So uh, I was hoping he could partake with me. But, you know, his discipline, he's grown up. So, uh, yeah, no, I look forward to celebrating with him uh, when I get to Sydney. I do reckon, like, I, I, I'd, I'd like to see that too. But I do, there's something, there's something about Nick Kyrgios that, where I feel it's just lurking beneath... Um, Ready to, ready to really go for it whenever he gets the opportunity. Look, there he is, the smile. Um, look, honestly, before the tournament, who would have thought, Nick, um, you know, this is a great achievement. It's a Grand Slam trophy. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I've told many, many people, and, and I've told Tanasi, this ranks one amongst all my kind of accolades, I think, when it's all said and done. Um, you know, to to kind of call yourself a Grand Slam champion. And, you know, I could just see that my family, Thanasi's family, his support crew, my support crew were just almost, you know, couldn't believe the fact that we, we were now crowned, I guess, Grand Slam champions through everything, through, you know, us growing up together and playing Junior Wimbledon, getting demolished a couple times in the Australian Open main draw because we just couldn't focus. And, and we finally put those two weeks together, which is insane to, to think about. But um, I guess it's more motivation for me as well now. Um, I feel like when you achieve something um, this high, you can never go on a tennis court with a lack of confidence. Um, and I just think this is a great opportunity for, for myself, but for Nasi to kind of you know, move forward with his singles career the way he's playing as well and takes mm. his confidence. And for me, I'm just vibing with everything at the moment. You know, I'm taking it day by day. Um, you know, I played a bit of basketball yesterday. I'm just back, back to my normal ways and, and everyone kind of doesn't believe that I'm just kind of going back to it after, I guess, being, becoming a Grand Slam champion, but mm. um, it's pretty special. And yeah. Tanasi, what does that mean to you to be a Grand Slam champion and to have done it with, with your close friend? You guys have such history together. Yeah, it's pretty surreal. As I say, growing up, eight, nine, ten years old, we started to know each other and uh, we've been through all the ranks together, travelling Europe and... Uh, yeah, from Junior Wimbledon, as Nick said, to come here. Uh, we, we haven't really had much double success on the main tour ever before. And we kind of just entered this for a bit of fun and to kind of enjoy for the crowd. But to see how much it was meaning to everyone else as well, our support teams, everyone that stuck by us through all the tough times. And then 
Yeah, it was just a massive heart train for a couple of weeks, and uh, it was it was pretty pretty surreal to see how everyone how everyone reacted afterwards. Um, look, at, and the buzz that came with you guys was electric. Um, Nick, to have those fans on board, I mean, there was so much said and so much debated uh, about in, in the way that the crowd responded, but I thought it was fantastic for mm. tennis. Um, and, and look, there's no apologies from you. That's the way you're going to be, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, even when I, when I walked out um, to my singles, um, I knew that the crowd, obviously everything that Australians mm. have gone through the last two years, I could definitely feel that they wanted... They wanted a bit more this year. They wanted a bit more of a show. They wanted to get behind it. It was definitely, I could feel that the crowd was a bit looser this year. Um, but I think, you know, when people were yelling out before serves and all that type of stuff, I don't think that's what we created. Yeah. I think we created an atmosphere where we had just so many Australian players like doing their own thing and going about it different ways. It was exciting for Australian tennis. And mm. I think for the people watching, um, and, you know, Ash winning the Grand Slam was you know, unbelievable. Me and Thanasi were in the room where she came back to her family and it was just a special moment to see her share that with her support crew as well. Obviously, me and Thanasi go out there and, and, and get the Dubs um, title. You know, Dylan's last kind of Australian Open, Sam Stoza's last kind of Australian Open, having the two Aussies that we played in the final as well. So I think it was just an exciting Australian Open, barring, you know, all the Novak type of stuff beforehand as well. Mm. I think we all kind of did a great job to, yeah. you know, Make, make it interesting and um, the men's final was insane you know yeah. shout out to Rafa Nadal who just continues to surprise me at all kind of at all levels I mean it's insane how you know he's got 21 grand slams he holds the record at the moment so that's incredible and I think you know no one expected this Australian Open to go as successful as it as, it, as, it, mm. as, an, as it's gone. So it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Well, that's it, isn't it? It was so wobbly there at the start. We had people coming down with COVID, and, including mm. yourself, Nick, um, and, and Rafa, and as you mentioned, the Novak dramas. What was it then like when, when it has been the, the, the Aussie Open dominated by Aussies? What was it like to, to walk out um, for the final after Ash Barty has just won and made history, mm. and to have, you know, to have the crowd mm. behind you like that? What, what was that, what did that feel like? Is this for me or Thanasi? Is that me? Either of you. <laughs> Nick, you start, then Thanasi, tell me. Uh, that, that, that. You go. Okay. Um, yeah, it was, it was special. I went, I went Instagram live actually walking through the tunnel with Thanasi. Um, you know, I could feel we were a bit jittery and a bit nervous, so I thought I'd lighten up the mood, so I just chucked on the Instagram live while we are walking down the yeah. tunnel to Rod Laver. And that was, I think that was a pretty, pretty good move. You know, we got out there and started playing some pretty good tennis, but it was amazing. Obviously, Ash, you know, the stadium was completely packed for Ash and to see that success, they just wanted the, they wanted, I think, I, I definitely do think the crowd wanted me and Thanasi more to win. Um, I don't know how that's going to be perceived. You know, the media does anything these days. Ah. But, um, you know, it was just a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> um, when I walked out, when I, when I looked over and I saw Thanasi on big moments and, and big points and, and I looked around the stadium, it was full and I just said that I was doing it with Thanasi, you know, my nerves kind of calmed down and we just got it done. You know, um, there, there are a couple of people that really vexed the hell out of Ali and I during this tournament. Um, I'm not going to go into Danielle Medvedev um, too much, but I'm <laughs> glad that guy's gone home or is about to go home. The other one who we tried to kick out of the country, um, fellas, <laughs> is, is Michael Venus, who had, who had a couple of words to say about my man Nick. Um, here he is. This is Michael Venus. You know, there'll always be his supporters and he'll always spin it in a way that that helps him, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he's just an absolute knob. All right, that's Michael Venus. He won't be allowed in the country again for a long time. Uh, Nick, how do you respond to, to Michael Venus? Um, well, I don't even think any no, sort of comments that come right. out of Michael Venus's mouth are really relevant, to be honest. Um, you know, he dressed, he was firstly dressed in something that I would wear to a Halloween party. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that's the energy that we wanted, you know, we wanted to... The fact that me and Thanasi have now made Michael Venus's comments relevant, and I think that's great. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, Th Thanasi, I mean, you help me out here, bro. What, what, what do you reckon? Thanasi, what do you reckon? <laughs> I'm, I'm pissing myself over here. I don't know if you can see me. But, uh, look, everyone just... I don't know, it felt like we had a target on our back from the start, especially since we beat the number one seeds. It was pretty well documented, their fitness trainer pretty much tried to square up with Nick uh, in, the, in the gym. And then Venus after that. I That's think right. it was blown a bit out of proportion. We were just trying to hype up the crowd and have some fun. But 
Yeah, everyone that comments about it now just kind of looks bitter, I reckon, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys rock. I you mean, got the trophy, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. um, well done, what fellas. I, what I don't understand is, is like, yeah. Yeah. I think Ve that was like the best atmosphere Michael Venus will ever play in. Like, he'll tell his kids and like, well, he has a kid, like, he'll, he'll tell his kids about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why he's trying to be salty. Like, I, that I is don't the know best if he will, guys, but he didn't, remember on. he didn't win. No, no but, but also, also, Nick, just tell us what you really feel about Venus. Oh, stop it. <laughs> No, like he, he, I mean, before he the match, he was like, this is going to be a dream a come later. true. Like, <laughs> go on, go on. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, the car will stop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't, don't be pressured. I love you guys. Hey, you gave us a lot, um, and, and it was awesome to watch your journey, and, and I just think you, you guys are terrific, and the future of Australian tennis is so bright. And we loved every minute of it. Thanks for entertaining us. And thanks for, you know, for doing what you do on the court. And well done on your achievements. It's fantastic. Good on you, boys. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. See you, guys.